أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would like to welcome all of you and alhamdulillah that we have this beautiful gathering here today and I feel so blessed to be part of this gathering uh, my name is Uvedad Gilani and inshallah I will be sharing some points about surah selected surahs and how we conduct them in our program here at Al Huda Institute so I hope you all are doing well Yes, if you are doing well, you can give me a thumbs up or you can say that, yes, you're doing well. Because I know, mashallah, you have made it uh, pretty much halfway through the program. So you all are doing really great. And we're going to, inshallah, try to talk about some of the benefits. Mashallah, there's so many benefits that have been spoken about already. And I will just be sharing some few things that how, you know, studying one surah at a time can, very, can be very beneficial. Because alhamdulillah, we've talked about Fahm al-Quran which is a very brief overview of the entire Quran. We've talked about Talim al-Quran, which is a more detailed uh, program of, of, our, of, our, of our institute. And today I will be just talking about, you know, those programs that cover only one surah at a time. And what are the benefits of studying that, inshallah. So I hope you all are ready. And this will be an interactive session. So I would love to hear uh, what you have to say as well. نحمدنا صلى على رسول الكريم عما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ورب زدني علما آمين. So first of all, I wanted to share a story. I won't take too much of your time. This story goes back to some eight years ago, and we had just moved from Canada to Buffalo, U.S. And I remember that I was very active in Al Huda Institute Canada. So I'm, I'm a graduate of Talim al Quran. We used to do a lot of things over there. And once I had moved to Buffalo, I realized that I was doing pretty much nothing. I was, Alhamdulillah, I had my son, I was taking care of him. But in terms of spirituality, in terms of growth, growing as a person, as a good Muslim, it was not happening. So it was. Also the time that it was Ramadan. So this is really relevant because this is our theme of our program as well, that what to do, you know, after Ramadan. So it was in Ramadan that I made the dua that, oh Allah, keep me connected to the Quran. Because I felt that I have lost the touch with the Quran. And Alhamdulillah, after some time, Sister Maryam contacted me. And soon after I started working with Al-Huda Institute online. So it's been a great blessing for me to be part of uh, the teaching staff of Al-Huda. And Alhamdulillah, through that, I am also connected to the Quran by teaching uh, this beautiful kalam. So, so far we have completed these five surahs, Surah Al-Fatiha, Surah Al-Baqarah, Ali Imran, An-Nisa, and Surah Al-Ma'idah. And we're on the way to complete Surah Al-Ma'idah. So each course we teach separately. And you'll see that sometimes different courses are offered just by one surah. So always think about, okay, if, if you don't have the opportunity to do the entire Quran or you're not even able to enroll in, in something long-term, then this is a great option for you, okay? Because our goal in this course is to bring students close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with focus on one surah alone, okay? And how do we achieve this goal? We complete the tafsir of the surah. We also recite this beautiful surah. We also conduct quizzes and assignments, okay? So this is how we achieve our goal. And this course is conducted once a week for one and a half hours. So this course is offered once a week. So you see, it's pretty doable and it's great for people who are not able to commit long-term. So let's look at how we overview major th themes from Surah and Nisa in each class. So for example, last we are one of our Surah Nisa courses is graduating this year, Alhamdulillah. And with those students, what we did was that we covered each theme with them. So we would, so all of these themes, all of these themes that are shown here were lessons that we had taken. So for example, the Surah starts with the creation of mankind. You know, we talks about property of orphans the restriction of number of wives, obligation of mahar, and you know who we should trust our property with. So all these topics were covered in, in the surah. So our students are not only going through 
detailed version of the explanation of Surah Nisa, but then we also go through overview in each class. And you can see that we cover a number of topics. So this is our first topics, you know, one of the, you can say group of topics that we covered, and it keeps going like this. So Alhamdulillah, there were pretty much six slides of this. So here are some of the topics that we covered in this course. And currently we are studying Surah Al-Ma'idah, okay, where in this Surah, it's Alhamdulillah, we finished Surah Nisa, and now we have moved on to Surah Al-Ma'idah. And in this course, we study, again, this is the same theme as well. And we learn about purification through verse number 100. And this is, a, a, this is an ayah which was beautiful because not only was something, it's, it's, a, it's a topic that we, it's very relevant to us today. And it's something that as students, we can take with us for the entire week, even if we're studying selected ayahs during the week, just, just once a week, but it can carry with us for, for the whole week. Say, not equal are the evil and the good although the abundance of evil might impress you. So fear Allah, O oh you of understanding, that ye, you may be successful. Okay, so here we are learning about currently in this, in this course about what is good and what is not good and how they are not equal. Okay, and this is a, basically a theme that we cover under purification. Okay, because we learn the difference between the two. And what can be included in khabith? What can be included in khabith? Like something that is evil, something that is not good. And what could be the opposite of that? At-tayyib. Can you think of two opposite things in our deen that is one is very pure and one is that is not pure, that is evil? You can think of any two examples. Anyone? Okay, so one of them being, for example, a person is doing dhikr, right? Dhikr is something that is tayyib. So we are doing adhkar, and that is tayyib, and al-khabith would be something that is backbiting, right? So if a person is engaging in doing dhikr, that is tayyib. If a person is engaging in khabith, that is something that is going to negate our good deeds, right? It's going to be bad for us. Yes, very good. So for example, milk versus wine, if you're looking at food, we can think about food very clearly, right? Halal and haram foods. Uh, okay, so we can think about social media, something that is fahash, something that is indecent versus, you know, engaging in something that is not like, you know, of knowledge, perhaps. Yes, exactly. Riba can be, is khabith as well, is filth. But pure, if you have wealth that is through pure means, that is also means of tayyib, right? Okay, so here we learned that these two are not equal. And the most important thing that I found in this ayah, that what we learn is, walau a'jabaka kathratul khabith, although the abundance of evil might impress you. So it might be that when you see something so often, you might even get impressed by it. For example, like if you look at examples of what's being shown on TV, right? There's so much indecency, but because it's so common that people might even be impressed by it. Or for example, if somebody buys a very beautiful house, but if you look at how that house was bought, then it might not be that impressive, right? No, but people are so impressed by it that, wow, you know, look at them, they have such a big house. So this is, it teaches us a very important principle. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, فَاتَّقُوا Ya ulil albabi la alakum tuflihun. So fear Allah, O oh you of understanding, that you may be successful. So here in Surah Al Maida, we will be seeing this pattern repeated multiple times about having taqwa of Allah. And we have already talked a lot about taqwa today. So this is just a sample of what we do in our class. Then we also give assignments to our students. For example, I give practical examples of the wrong actions that impress us. You know, that people are saying, oh, wow, this is great. And practical examples of that. And what should we do instead? So this is one sample of that assignment that we do. And the lessons that we can take from this particular ayah in Surah Al-Maida is pure and filthy cannot be the same. 
never. Number two, do not appreciate the wrong actions, even if it's in abundance. And this is very important for us to remember because sometimes we see a lot of things in multitude in our community and we think, oh, this is fine. This is perfectly acceptable. When, it's, when we should recognize that that is evil, it is not something that is good. And some of the benefits of studying one surah at a time is for the youth. If you are not able to commit to courses or your timings are you know, not matching up, then this is wonderful. We do have a lot of young people in this course. And again, the commitment is one, one and a half weeks, sorry, one and a half hours for once a week, right? And the duration of the course is usually eight months, seven months, seven to eight months. And it's excellent for ladies who are working and they cannot commit a, a lot of time. And this is, as I said, it's a short course. So once we complete the course, then we usually have, you know, summer break, like we will now. And then we have our next session, like next surah starting in September. And again, other teachers also offer, you know, courses as well on specific surahs. So you can look out for those. And the benefits in gaining knowledge is number one, you get knowledge in small dosages. So you, we are only focusing on one surah. So we can put all our energy into that one surah. Number two, this course is action-based. So a lot of our points that we share are action-oriented. So what to do. So once you have learned this, then what is the next step? And then to build a strong Muslim identity. So as a Muslim, you feel very confident in your knowledge. And you're, um, so you're gaining knowledge. And then you also are learning how to implement the knowledge. And lastly, to build good ca character through the study of the surah and the sunnah. So for example, we are taking, so for example, in Surah Al-Maidah, it's, you can say it's a culmination of the previous surahs. So if you were studying Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Imran, Surah An-Nisa, and now you're studying Surah Al-Maidah, you will have a good foundation in terms of your knowledge, inshallah. So what I would like to do is, inshallah, invite you all to our completion of the course. And we are completing our course next week on Saturday. So please look out for this announcement, inshallah, and we would love to see you all there. And you can be part of, you know, the, the greater benefit, inshallah. So Jazakum Allah Khairan everybody for listening. And I hope it gives you a glimpse of how we conduct our courses that are for just one surah at a time. So now we will go ahead and listen to our beautiful da'a. <laughs> أسألك علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا اللهم إني أسألك علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا Okay, alhamdulillah. So now, inshallah, it is time for us to announce the graduating Quran Surah courses. So I would like to congratulate all of you. And now we will be announcing the names of our students who are graduating from these specific courses. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. My name is Lubna Rizal. I'm here to announce the graduates of the English course Surah Al-Baqarah, translation and tafsir along with the recitation, which was offered towards the end of 2021, continuing through to 2022. The graduates of the course are Afrin Jamal, Aqif Al-Taf, Aniqa Abdul Ghani, Ashrafi Khanam, Atika Hafiz, Anlib Ijaz, Aisha Rauf, Aisha Tahir, Dua Anadim, Fadima Tadialo, Farha Khan, Fizza Ahmed, Hafsa Siddiqa, Hasina Rose Ahmed, Jamima Begum, Juliana Robertson, Kade Diop, Khadija Ismail, Madiha Batul, Medina Sharif, Michelle Curley, Mohammed Ahmed, Nabila Nasri, Nusrat Hassan, Peshmina Gul, Qudsi Aslam, Safura Sheikh, Sami Akbar, Sara Diomereo, Shahira Naim, Tahin, Tahniat Said, Zara Khan, and Zarina Froze. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you benefit from this learning. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you continuing in your journey to learn deen of Allah. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Alhamdulillah that we are here today 
to honor our graduates for all their hard work and their efforts in trying to complete all their requirements of the courses. My name is Widad Gilani, and I was a teacher in Surah An-Nisa, Tafsir course in English 2021, where we studied the Tafsir of Surah An-Nisa. We also recited this beautiful Surah, and Alhamdulillah, we also covered important action points. Along with that, our students completed quizzes and assignments which were based on practical application. Here are the names of our graduates. Sister Anisa Rafiq, Sister Ishal Adnan, Sister Iman Rafiq, Sister Nazish Khan, and Sister Warda Batul. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward each and every one of you for all your beautiful efforts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of you, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you all in your knowledge. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazakillah khairan, Sister Widad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from all of you. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Sara Nadim. Alhamdulillah, I was given the opportunity to be the course in charge for the Ibadur Rahman summer course in English, SE22. The graduates of this course are Aisha Rahman, Iman Qazi, Faiza Faru, Juliana Robertson, Jureyda Jafar, Maryam Ahmed, Nabila Patel, Noor Mahmood, Putri Shamim Khalid, Rashida Tariq, Sara Farooqi, Shahina Abdul Rahim, Sunni Tantarpakal, Zahra Irfan. Barakallahu Fikum. Allah Akbar Kabira, Walhamdulillahi Kathira, Wasubahan Allah Bukratan wa Asila. Allah Akbar Kabira, Walhamdulillahi Kathira, Wasubahan Allah Bukratan wa Asila. الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا جزاكم الله خيرا and congratulations again to our graduates. Now I will be announcing our awards and positions for the selected surahs portion of our courses inshallah. So our third place position holder is Sister Madiha Badu. So may Allah SWT reward you. Second place holder is Sister Shahira Naeem. And first is Sister Michelle Curley. So alhamdulillah, I know Sister Michelle, congratulations. May Allah SWT reward each and every one of you for your efforts. Barakallah fikum. And next for Surah An-Nisa Tafsir course, it is second place is Sister Iman Rafiq. And our first place is Sister Ishal Adnan. So jazakum Allah khairan to all your students. Next is our Ibad rahman Summer Course 2022. Sister Julena Robertson is third place. Sister Zahra Irfan is second place. And first place is Sister Faiza Farooq and Sister Suni. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you both. First, we have two first position holders. So barakallah fikum. Allahumma basut alayna min barakatika wa rahmatika wa fadlika wa rizqik. Okay, alhamdulillah. So with that, now I would like to announce our student reflections. We have a reflection by Sister Zahra Irfan from the course status of Ibadur Rahman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Zahra Irfan and I am from America. I took part in the summer program of our Ibadur Rahman last summer. I found the program to be very beneficial, alhamdulillah. It was an excellent opportunity to get closer to the deen and to learn practical applications about emulating Ibadur Rahman. Oftentimes it seems like the status of Ibadur Rahman is very high and lofty and it's very hard for us to achieve. But this class taught me that actually there's a lot of small things that we can all do uh, to help us achieve that status. The class environment is very welcoming to people of all backgrounds. There's no judgment about how much knowledge you might have about Islam, but it's very welcoming. And the teacher is super nice and she's really good at explaining all the ideas and giving lots of good examples, mashallah. I would really recommend this course to everyone and believe it will be very beneficial and uh, it will be a uh, Sadhqa Jariya, inshallah. 
الحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم الصالحات الحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم الصالحات الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم